Hello, everybody. I am Renata from the eSpot, and I just have to say that I am so happy right now. This weekend, Finland had their national competition, UMK, and they chose my favorite song from all of this year so far, Cha 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 by Karia. You know, I was just like, I, I had a feeling it would win because it was amazing, but I was so happy when it won. I was so happy I went out and I bought this awesome Finland flag, which I will have with me in Liverpool for the first semi-final to cheer on Finland. And I also wore my finished camouflage uh, so that I wouldn't block out the flag while I was doing my reaction video. So I am going to be reacting to the live performance. I've already reacted to the video um, right when it first came out and it just knocked my socks off totally. So I did watch the whole UMK contest live. I thought it was amazing. Any one of the songs would have been a great choice. I'm just really happy that they chose Cha Cha Cha. Uh, when they started doing the results, I had a feeling like it was going to landslide and it totally did just absolutely blew every other song out of the water. And it's a resounding yes from Finland for this song. And I think Europe is also going to say yes. Well, actually, I think they're going to say cha-cha-cha in Liverpool. Everyone's going to go nuts for this song. So Karia has already said in interviews that he intends to keep the staging pretty much as it is. So I'm going to react to this video and just, you know, kind of give some of my thoughts about the staging, what I think worked really well, maybe what didn't work as well, and just in general, enjoy watching it because I really love the song and I love the performance and it's just a joy to watch in general. So let's check out the live performance from UMK of Cha Cha Cha. The crowd just is going wild the whole time. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's party. I really like what they did with the video and with the staging. It just feels really dramatic and cool. In fact, I think they could do more with these like tight camera angles. I think they really worked well. Okay, I was shocked when these dancers came out. I didn't think they'd come out until like that second part of the song when it switches, but they really got the workout for these dancers. And I love that it's pink and green. It reminds me of like a like a fluorescent watermelon. Oh, and they've got these fake teeth in. It's so creepy. It actually reminds me of the movie The Mask, which is a Jim Carrey movie. Like when Jim Carrey puts the mask on, he gets like these really big teeth. And his face is also that green color of the jacket or sleeves. I've been calling them arm chaps. You can hear the crowd screaming the words to the music. That's just insane. To see, the dancing's really cool. I love that they're like fight dancing, but because of those wood pallets, you can't really see all the dancing. Like a lot of it's cut off and I don't think that works very well. But I like the dancing actually. Oh, I love that we get this new, this new dance. Oh my god, this part, the way I screamed when he got on their backs. I mean, it's just, this man's mind, it's just... They're giving us this view of the crowd and I wish they were showing us the stage. I don't know if that was intentional. Uh, the crucifix lift, come on! Oh, this is gonna be so great in Liverpool. Oh my gosh. Oh God, it's just so entertaining. Oh, wow.
What a performance. It's just, it's so good in so many ways. Um, I mean, it's just like, it feels like it's like a minute long. It just flies by. Like, it's so entertaining. And it's not that there's like a lot going on. Like, it's pretty pared back. Like, it's just him and four dancers and that little kind of stage, which is more or less stationary. So it's not like we're being bombarded with a lot of stuff. Oh, but it's just so entertaining. Um, I think some of the weaker points of this actually have nothing to do with him or with the dancers. I think it's more about the camera angles and the way that they were using the stage and just the way that it was blocked out. Um, but that's something they have a lot of time to fix. Um, and that's something that more rehearsals will fix. And also they're going to have a crazy stage in Liverpool. So they might make adjustments there and it will be cool to see what they do. I mean, I feel like with this song and performance, like there's like, there's nowhere to go, but up from here. I mean, that seems like, you know, it's not like it was like, well, he's not like some crazy vocalist, you know? So as long as he gives us something close to what that was and, you know, the camera angles get all cleaned up, I mean, we know that the public loves it. And I think like local viewers are just going to be so captivated by it because it's just so different and it's so entertaining and it's so fun. Like I know Finland is my number one. I've already done a ranking for, you know, up to this point of the songs that are released. It's number one. I highly doubt that it's going to drop, that any other song could possibly beat this song for me personally. I mean, when it comes to Liverpool, I'm not normally in the business of like making predictions. <laughs> I don't think that my predictions are probably very that accurate. But if this song does not finish in the top 10, I will be shocked absolutely shocked. I expect it to be top five, top three. It could win. I want it to win. I would love to go to Finland next year. I think that would be really fun. I'll make sure I wear the blue jacket and bring my Finland flag with me for when Karia wins Eurovision this year in Liverpool and we take the contest to Finland in 2024. Fingers crossed. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and follow on social media at eSpotPod.